All right, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this little car here uh, using Onshape. Uh, the only tools we need to use to make this little car uh, are Sketch, Extrude, and Fillet, as you can see uh, off to the side there where it lists the features. So uh, in order to get started, the first thing we need to do is go to our Onshape, uh, My Onshape page, and then we just click the Create tab right here. We're going to create a document, and we're going to call that document car. Now, when you first get an on shape, you've got multiple view panes, uh, which makes it pretty confusing. I'm not quite sure why they do this, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to get rid of I'm going to hide the front one, and I'm going to hide the right one, so I'm just left with a normal build plane there. Uh, from here, I'm going to start with my sketch. So I'm going to click sketch. Now, it asked me to select a sketch plane, so I'm going to select top because that's where I'm going to be doing my sketching. Now from here, I need to select what I'm going to do the sketch with. So I'm going to select this line to start with. Um, you see when it turns orange like that and gets that little uh, orange square around it, that means that's your actual starting point, which is very useful when you're trying to make parts of a sketch connect. Um, if we were using something like 123D Design, uh, I would be able to actually set my um, dimensions here as I'm drawing it, but this makes you set them later as constraints. So right now I'm just going to eyeball this whole thing. Um, now when you get to this point in the drawing process, uh, I want to go back, but you're, it still wants to uh, keep me drawing. So what you have to do is hit the escape key, and then go back over here, click the line button again, and then continue your drawing. So now I'm going to go back over here. Notice how that turned into that orange square. I click on it. I go up, and I should get here. Let's, there we go. I went over there uh, and connected to that dot so that when I moved back, it would give me that, that line, that orange line showing me where it's parallel. Because again, I can't set my dimensions, so I'm kind of fudging this a little bit. Okay, so then I'm going to set this like so. And now I'm almost done. I just have to go back up here, and I'm going to select a three-point arc. I'm going to, again, Get that nice orange circle. I'm going to select on this side for the other side of my orange arc, and then I'm going to come down like so to complete the cockpit of my little car. And then I'm going to click that uh, green check mark to tell it I'm done. Now I've got the start of my car. So from here, all I need to do is extrude this. So I'm going to click on the object. Now you can tell this is a usable object because it turned that dark gray color. If it doesn't turn, if it doesn't change color, it means that the object isn't complete for some reason, which usually means you messed up connecting one of these little dots usually. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to extrude now. Um, it automatically sets the extrude depth to 25 millimeters for some reason. Uh, you can also extrude manually by clicking and dragging if you want to. Uh, this is one of the few things where you actually do get to set the depth in uh, on shape. I don't know why they couldn't do this for everything, but okay. So I'm going to set this to 30, and I'm going to hit enter. Uh, and I'm done. And that's it. Okay, so now I've got the start of my, my little car here. Now again, still not looking much like a little car. Um, so I need to give it a front and a back. In order to give it a front and a back, I'm going to use the fillet tool. Uh, the fillet tool looks like this. It's different from uh, camphor or chamfer. Again, pronunciation is so tricky on these things. Uh, chamfer will give you a flattened edge, whereas fillet will give you a rounded edge. So I'm going to get a rounded edge here. Uh, and I'm going to start by doing the front of my car, the front fenders. Okay, so I'm going to click both of these edges, and I'm going to pull them down. Oh, not the whole thing, goofball. There we go. That's about enough. And this lets me set it. I'm going to set it to 5 millimeters exactly. Um, and there we have it. Okay, so that gave us the front of our car now, with front fenders. Now I'm going to go for the back of our car. I'm going to, uh, I'm done with that. So I'm going to do a different fillet now. I'll select it from here. I'm going to click on the back, and I'm going to pull this down like so. To there, that's perfect. I think 25 is the magic number we're looking for here. There we go. And I'm done. And that now is starting to look a little bit more like a little car, right? But it still needs some wheels. So in order to give it some wheels, we're going to sketch some wheels on it. So I'm going to go back over here to my sketch option. Uh, it's asking me for a sketch plane. Instead of clicking top, this time I'm actually going to select the side of the car. Um, so from here, I can just do a center point circle. 
I'm going to click right here and I'm going to move. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move in a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to start the center point circle. And I want my wheel to be basically in the center here. Move down slightly. And there we go. Make a nice big wheel there. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move down. Now again, if you if you hover over something and then move, sometimes if you're lucky, it'll give you a little orienting orientation line. So that's what I've done here. Is I give myself a little orientation line, and I'm going to try to make this approximately the same size. There we go. Now again, if this was a different program, I could just set those constraints automatically. But they like me. They like to be tricky. Okay. So there I have two, two, and two. Now. The nice thing about this program is it will let me extrude both of these at the same time. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on Extrude. Uh, I'm going to click on what I want to extrude. Now the unnice thing is it's going to chop it up. So I'm going to have to select all parts of this wheel if I actually want to extrude it, because otherwise it breaks it up. As you can see, it, it breaks it into little sections. So I have to select all the sections of my wheel there there we go now my depth i'm going to set to three millimeters and i'm going to click ok and now what it's done for me is it's extruded both those wheels and given me three millimeter wheels front and back now if you don't particularly like the orientation of your wheels you can move them up and down or make them different sizes or whatever but that's how you make them and now we're just going to repeat that exact same process on the other side so i'm going to go over here i'm going to click sketch this is my sketch plane i'm going to select uh, I'm going to do a center point circle. I'm going to move in here and I'm going to create it. There we go at about 25 millimeters, 25 and a half millimeters. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to move down and I'm going to make myself another 25 millimeter. There we go. 25.11. And now I am done with that. Now I'll extrude those two. So I'm going to click on extrude. I'm going to click on the circle, but again, it's making it into some weird, like, half lumpy circle thing. So i got to select all the parts of the circle because it's using the, the shape of the car to kind of chop it up, which is just silly, but uh, on shape for you. And then I'm going to click this very tiny corner right there. There we go. Now I have a complete circle on both sides. I'm going to change this to 3 millimeters, <clears throat> and away we go. So in case you're kind of wondering what I'm doing, if you don't select the whole circle, oh yeah, see look, it didn't select the whole circle over here. What happens is you don't get the whole thing extruded. So it'll only extrude part of it. I'm going to zoom in here and then I have to get this little bitty part right there. There we go. Now I've extruded the entire thing. This is kind of, again, not the smartest program in the world, but it's not bad. It's a heck of a lot better than Tinkercad. And there you have it. So now we've got our wheels. We've got our Fillet is edges, and now all we need are some headlights. So to make the headlights, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to sketch them right on there. I'm going to select my sketch plane here. I'm going to use the center point circle, and I'm just going to put them right here. Because why not? There's one of them. Boom. From here, I'm going to go over. Do the same thing. That's 7.15, right? Oh, so close. There we go. Perfect. Almost exactly the same size. So some slightly bigger. Again, we could go into constraints and mess around with this, but we're not going to do that for right now. We're just I, uh, we're kind of freehanding this, if you will. So from here, I'm going to click. I'm going to go to extrude. I'm going to click on both of these. Luckily, there's nothing here breaking these up. There's no side of the car to confuse the program and break them up. So we don't. We can just click on both of them. We're going to set our depth on these to two millimeters, and then I'm going to click OK. And now we've got some headlights. And there you have it. Uh, you could add fenders, uh, you can add a, a windshield if you want to. There's all kinds of different uh, little modifications we can do to this thing. But that is your basics for how to make a little car in Onshape. So again, we just used our sketch to draw our basic shape and extrude. We, then we extruded that out. Uh, we filleted the edges to give ourselves our hood and our trunk area. Then we sketched our wheels and extruded those. We sketched the wheels on the other side, extruded those, and then we sketched our headlights and extruded those. And there you have it.